Hi guys, it's Simulsi here. So welcome to another part of my renovating base game series. This is a series where I am renovating base game using only the base game to renovate it. So um, as you can see, I'm here in the starter neighborhood of Willow Creek renovating the Daisy Hovel house. And I actually really like this house, like the way it looks originally, at least the exterior. I think the color combination is kind of cute. Um, the floor plan is a bit weird, but what I decided to do was just to leave the floor plan exactly how it was because I really didn't like it. And so I wanted to see if I could create something with that floor plan that I actually like. And I achieved my goal, so I'm actually pretty happy about that because I really thought that I wasn't going to stick with that. I thought that I would end up changing it, but I kept the original floor plan and I'm really happy with it. I did change up the wall divider in the kitchen because it's just like this wall that blocks off the kitchen from the rest of the living area and i decided to keep the wall there but turn it into a half wall instead and i think that makes so much more sense it makes it feel so much more like roomy and open and I think it just works so much better. So here you can see I replaced the wall with the half wall and I put a couple of columns in and I remove all of the furniture and um, yeah, I pretty much keep like the living room in the same location. I just add um, two couches instead of one and switch things up a little bit and add a few more decorations. Originally, this is a starter house. I forget exactly how much it costs when your Sims like buy this house, but Sims, when they're like a single Sim, get 20,000 simoleons to start out with. You get a little bit more if there's two Sims and more if you have like a few other Sims. I don't know what it tops out if, if you have like eight Sims to begin with, but I mean, eight Sims don't want to live in this house. There's not enough room for them. I mean, you could make it work. You could put like a bunch of bunk beds in and like torture your sims and torture yourself because there's only one bathroom so um but anyways uh, it's a little bit more than a starter house i think it's like 25 with the lot 23 without the lot so if you really wanted it to be a starter you could sell some stuff because i do fully decorate it it's not like overly decorated it's still like a very budget friendly house <laughs> so i think probably if you have like two sims they might be able to afford this i'm not sure if they start out with that much, actually. I, I don't know, let me know if you guys know exactly how much a Sim starts out with when there's like multiple Sims, but it is a little bit more expensive, but I didn't wanna hold back too much on the decorations and there's already like a full on starter house that I renovated right next door. And so I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit more expensive, but not like overly expensive and overly cluttered. Most of these homes that I've been renovating for this series, I've kept pretty simply decorated, kind of along the lines of the way EA decorates their homes. Um, to be compatible with all different types of computers and that's kind of what I've been going for with these uh, renovations. So yeah, here you can see I'm decorating the living space. It ended up looking a lot fancier than I had intended it to. Um, I think it's actually kind of nice looking. It looks like one of these homes that you might see that are for rent that are kind of staged or they've completely renovated. Maybe it's like a furnished rental or something. You could definitely set it as like a rental if you would like, but of course Sims can only go to rentals on vacation which is unfortunate they can only rent apartments i wish that sims could actually rent homes as well i think that would be very realistic um but yeah it feels like a staged home somehow <laughs> like because uh, it's in a cheaper neighborhood but it feels fancy but maybe the sim that lives here has good taste with decorating i don't know maybe it doesn't look as fancy as i think it does but i felt like pretty proud of the way it turned out like especially for a base game house it looks nice i don't know i really like like the color scheme and everything it just felt um like a renovated house basically um but uh yeah over here is the bathroom the bathroom is fairly simple again trying to keep with the cheaper appliances um, and minimally decorated so it's not too expensive but it still feels fully decorated but it still um, definitely has that kind of like starter home feel and then over here is going to be the bedroom the bedroom is probably the least decorated out of all of the rooms I was going to use this bed but then I just felt like it was way too fancy and way too expensive so I swapped it out for the original bed that was in here the cheapest double bed from base game um, but I used it in a different swatch and I also used some debug artwork I have that one painting above the bed or I guess it's technically a photo but anyways I end up removing it because it just felt like I don't know I just I didn't like that particular print for above the bed and then also I wanted to hang another piece of artwork over by the window so you could see it in like the walls cutaway mode and then that would disappear so then it just kind of felt unnecessary but then I also thought about moving the artwork that I put in the hallway because you don't see that in cutaway mode either and then put that above the bed but then I also thought it looked weird having two paintings so close to each other on different walls 
Let me know if you guys agree with that. So I just ended up leaving it bare. So it's up to you guys if you decide to play in this build, if you wanna personalize that space, maybe when your sim gets more money, they could redo their bedroom and that might be the first place that they add more like personalized decorations. So that's probably the first place where you add like more personal details. Um, but anyways, here moving on to the exterior, I really had no idea what I wanted to do with the landscaping. I was originally placing those debug fences uh, cause that's what I did on the other starter house in this neighborhood. But then I didn't want them to look identical. I wanted to do something different. And so I just started kind of messing around without any real plan or direction. And so I left all of it in so you guys could see it cause it wasn't a really long video and I didn't think it was too big of a deal if I left everything in and it's, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of interesting to see probably, but I just started placing things and just kind of figured it out, but I actually ended up really liking it. I ended up making this little like fenced in side yard area, but I used a much shorter fence than I did on the other build. And you can actually see through it. You'll see which fence I use here in just a moment. And then I just placed some like flowers around. All of the plants that I used are live edit objects plants. So they don't cost any money, which is a great way for making a starter look like fully decorated. I don't know why plants are so expensive <laughs> in the game. Like even the like plain grass is like 200 simoleon, which is like ridiculous. But anyways, this is the fence that I ended up using and I just put some greenery around it, some flowers, and then I added these debug planters here, uh, which I thought was so cute to have them right here. It really made the, like the home feel like lived in, like a sim has been actively gardening and i also placed a few planter pots in this fenced in area with some trees in it i forget exactly which trees i place but i placed the ones that won't disappear when um you place them because i wanted them to be grown for the screenshots and then i ended up not even taking any screenshots of the area because it didn't make sense for the original build because in these speed builds i do like before and after uh screenshots so yeah, I don't know. That's what I ended up doing anyways. Um, but here I'm just finding some different flowers and grass that you can see around the surrounding neighborhood. So it blends in nicely if you guys do wanna keep this home in this original location. Of course you could place it somewhere else in the world or a different world, but I really like to make homes feel like they fit into like the neighborhood where I build them. So yeah, I felt like that was a good way to do it. Um, but yeah, here I'm finding those trees. So originally I wasn't going to do that, but then I placed this one and realized that it didn't disappear. So I found another one that didn't disappear and it looks so cute here on the patio. And I just put an outdoor dining table and then some more planter boxes and a woodworking table just to add like a few activities, but just trying to keep it more budget conscious without adding like a bunch of decorations. But yeah, this is it for the build. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and hopefully you guys do enjoy the screenshots. So thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Some people have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17, but I don't know what to do. Staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign. Some, they are certain of what awaits them when it all ends. But I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in a century? Or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind? Or the talk of the town that we are living in? Well, I don't know. Someone who's left their age Reading from a torn out page From a book filled with lies But I don't know what to do I'm staring into the blue sky And just waiting for a sign Some they are certain Of what awaits them When it all ends But I don't know What will happen to me Will I be remembered in a century Oh, will I be forgotten Like dust I don't